What is going on guys? Grave here today. Dice and EA gave us a big reveal of the final five specialists that will be in Battlefield 2042 at launch. We knew about some of the specialists that we got to experience during the beta, but we didn't get to experience the entire roster of the specialists in the beta. We knew there was going to be more at launch. They had been teased in trailers. Dice had not really given us any info until today. They put out a small uh, two minute trailer that kind of showcases each of the specialists abilities. I will link that down in the description if you would like to watch that for yourself. But let's go ahead and hop right into it. The first specialist they talked about was Navin, which is an Indian specialist who falls under the recon class. He has a Trojan network trait that allows him to hack nearby enemies, revealing all the enemies that are nearby in that location. It says this is a perfect class for sneaking into enemy territory. His cyber warfare suit uh, allows him to hack enemy equipment and end world objects. In the trailer, it shows him hacking a control panel from a distance, uh, kind of bringing up some concrete pipe bollards through the ground, you know, like on a concrete road that's blocking enemy vehicles from getting through that area. So that's kind of a, a cool feature to have with that character. The next one they talked about was Dozer, which we have seen uh, in some of the trailers. Dozer has a ballistic shield. He is a Mexican specialist. This protects the assault uh, specialist from all incoming projectiles. And we even see him in the trailer put his weapon through uh, the shield itself. So there must be some type of sliding glass feature inside of that shield where he actually can post his weapon kind of and, and prop it up on the shield and actually put it through the, the front glass of that shield. So this seems to be, uh, I think, going to be one of the characters that a lot of people like. Uh, for his trait, he has pretty much the EOD perk from Warzone. He has blast resistance, which reduces explosive damage and allows him to recover quicker. So he's going to pretty much be a tank moving around on the field battlefield. I am kind of curious to see if he moves slower than some of the other characters. I would assume he would, considering he does have that shield and considering he can put that shield through the, you know, kind of the glass of that ballistic shield. I would guess, since he has quick recovery and explosive resistance and a, a, a ballistic shield that he might be a bit slower, but there's been no word on that just yet. The next character they talked about is one that I know a lot of people have been curious about, and that is Sundance. Sundance ability, of course, is the wingsuit. That is her trait. Uh, she can stealthily fly for long distances. She also has the smart explosive, which allows her to switch between anti-armor, EMP, and scatter grenades. I think this is going to be another Specialist. There's several in here that I think a lot of people are going to be using a lot, and this is definitely one of them. I think a lot of people are really excited about that wingsuit we've seen in trailers, and I think this will be kind of cool to be able to move around the map a little bit further than you can with a parachute, and hopefully you'll be able to control it a little bit better, you know, by gaining speed and kind of gliding to where you need to go. Of course, the next character they talked about is Jia So, which is a South Korean specialist, and she has threat perception. Uh, the thing is that she, can, that she can kind of do is automatically spot enemies who damage her through that uh, threat perception. So she's going to know exactly where you are if you're you know, shooting at her. You get a shot on her. She goes around the corner, whatever the case may be. The one ability that she has that I think is going to be extremely powerful, I'm kind of curious to see how strong it's going to be once the game comes out, is she pretty much has wall hacks. She has an EMGX scanner, which highlights enemies through walls. So she sure is going to, in, to my, in my opinion, she's probably going to be one of the most picked specialists to begin with. Now, this EMGX scanner does not last for a long period of time, but in the trailer it shows when she hits that scanner, everyone that is around lights up in red, and she can th see them through all the walls. It is very, very strong. It is pretty crazy ability, in my opinion. Uh, the threat perception is a strong thing in, in its own right, and guess in my opinion, because of the ability for her to know exactly where you are. You're spotted. But at least, you know, you're not glowing red through the wall like you will uh, kind of see in the trailer when you watch it. So I'm kind of curious to see how long this is going to last in game. I think there's probably going to be a lot of people that run uh, this character just because of that scanner, because you're going to be able to know where every single individual is once you hit that scanner in that certain area. Of course, the last one they talked about was Constantine, which is uh, a trauma specialist. Now, this is going to kind of fall in that healing category. Um, this is going to be a trait that instantly revives fallen teammates and restores their armor. You know, a lot of people in the beta were talking about they didn't really like that reviving was so slow, uh, and a lot of people wanted like the old system. So this Romanian specialist is going to be that kind of solution for that problem. He will be able, like I said, to instantly revive fallen teammates and restore their armor, and his loadout crate specialty allows players to change their loadout at any point during the round. So he will have a crate that he can throw down on the ground, 
And at any time during the round, if you go across one of these uh, crates, you can change your loadout. You know, if you, we know we can change, you know, our weapon attachments, but let's say you were running a submachine gun and you decided you needed to run a sniper or a, an AR or something of that nature. You can go up to this loadout crate uh, from the specialist and actually change your loadout to one of the other loadouts you already have pre-saved. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. What do you think about these specialists being added in? Like I said, I think there's a lot of good with all, a lot of good things with all these specialists. I think they're definitely all useful. One or two of them, I think, are going to be really strong uh, with some of their abilities. I'm kind of curious to see how they're going to go forward with these specialists as well. They talked about adding more specialists down the road, so I'm going to be kind of curious to see what they do, kind of going forward after the game is released. Of course, leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community Discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.